solve for the value of x to the power of 5 plus y to the power of 5. Just follow me and you are going to see how this is going to be done, okay? Now, we need equation 1 to get x to the power of 3 that we'll use to multiply this to get this, okay? So, let's go. Um, according to equation 1, we have x plus y, all right, is equal to 1. If we square both sides of this equation, we are going to have this is an identity. And according to this algebra identity, this is same thing as x squared plus y squared plus 2xy. All right? Is equal to 1 because 1 squared will still give us 1. Now, recall from equation 2 that x squared plus y squared is equal to what? Is equal to 3, right? So we are going to replace this plus this with 3 plus 2xy is equal to 1. Now, um, 2xy, 2xy is equal to 1. This plus 3 we cross to become minus 3. So we have 2xy is equal to minus 2, okay? All right. Now, this is 1, this is 2. So this is what we have. 2xy is equal to minus 2. Now, to get the value of xy, all right, we are going to divide this side by 2 and this side by 2. And when you do that, you have that your xy is equal to minus 1, okay? When this divides this. All right, now let's call this one equation 3. Very important equation. Like I said, our intention is to get x to the power of 3, all right? And to get the x to the power of 3, we have to cube this as well. So, if this is our equation 1, x plus y is equal to 1. If we cube both sides of this equation now, all right? So, we are going to have x to the power of 3 plus y to the power of 3 plus 3x squared y plus 3y squared x is equal to 1, okay? So, because y to the power of 3 is still 1, all right? So we have x to the power of 3 plus y to the power of 3, which is what we are looking for, okay? Plus, now this has what? 3xy in common. Now, when 3xy, when 3x squared y is divided by this, we are, we'll be left with 1x. Plus, when this is divided by this, we'll be left with 1y. is equal to 1. So we have x to the power of 3 plus y to the power of 3, Plus three brackets. Recall our xy is what? Minus one, right? Minus one. Then we open our brackets. X plus y, according to equation one, is one. You see how sweet it is, right? Is equal to one. If this is the first time you're coming across this channel, please click on the subscription button and on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. Thank you. So we solve x to the power of 3 plus y to the power of 3. Then 3 times minus 1 is minus 3 times 1 again is minus 3. Okay? Is equal to 1. Let me to turn from here. All right. So we have, this is what we have here. x to the power of 3 plus y to the power of 3 minus 3 is equal to 1. Now let's transfer this to this side. We have x to the power of 3 plus y to the power of 3 is equal to 1 minus 3 we close to become we cross to become plus 3. So we have x to the power of 3 plus y to the power of 3 is equal to 4. Now let's call this equation 4, right? Yeah, equation 4. Okay, now let's multiply equation 4 by equation 2. You know I told you people that we need x to the power of 3 and y to the power of 3. We are going to use it to multiply equation 2 to get what we wanted. So if we say equation 4 multiplied by equation 2, we are going to have x to the power of 3 plus y to the power of 3 multiplied by x squared plus y squared, right? x squared plus y squared is equal to 4 multiplied by 3, which will give us 12. Okay, so we have x to the power of 3 multiplied by x squared. Recall the law of indices that a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m plus n, okay? So in this case, x to the power of 3 multiplied by x to the power of 2, we are going to pick x being the, the base. We are going to add the powers, that is 3 plus 2, okay? 
So that is exactly what we are going to do. So we have this times this will give us x to the power of 5, right? That is 3 plus 2. Now, more, uh, plus x to the power of 3 times y squared will give us x cubed y squared. Now, y to the power of 3 times x to the power of 2 will give us y cubed x squared. Now, y to the power of 3 times y to the power of 2 will give us plus y to the power of 5 is equal to 12. Okay, so we have x to the power of 5. Let's bring them together. Plus y to the power of 5 plus. Now, this has x squared, y squared in common, right? x squared, y squared. We open our brackets. Now, when this is divided by this, we have 1x remaining. Plus, when this is divided by this, we have 1y remaining, okay? Is equal to 12. All right, so we have x uh, to the power of 5 plus y to the power of 5 plus, now this same thing as x, y squared, right? Bracket x plus y is 1 according to our equation 1, okay? Is equal to 12. So we have x to the power of 5 plus y to the power of 5 plus now x, y is what? Uh, uh, x, y is minus 1. So this is minus 1 squared bracket 1 is equal to 12. Okay, let's continue from here. Let's continue from here. All right. So this is what we have here. x to the power of 5, y to the power of 5 plus y to the power of 5. Then minus 1 squared will give us 1 times 1 will still be 1 is equal to 12. So we have x to the power of 5 plus um, y to the power of 5 is equal to 12. And this plus 1 will cross to become minus 1. So this means that x to the power of 5 plus y to the power of 5. Sorry, this is 5. Okay. Is equal to what? 11. And that is our solution.